Hello everyone and welcome to this video, a very interesting video on Microsoft Power BI. Many people who are very new to Power BI want to explore about the business intelligence software which is Power BI. This is the right video for you to understand. Here in this video, you'll be learning how to create a report and the report will not take longer. It will just be created in less than seven minutes. So creating a Power BI report slash dashboard in just seven minutes, you'll be learning in this video. So there is also something which is extra in this particular video. You learn about how to create a beautiful cosmetics in the Power BI report in less than two minutes in the Microsoft PowerPoint presentation. So all these topics you'll be learning and stay tuned, understand in detail how to prepare this report. So let us begin this challenge about how do we create a report in seven minutes in Microsoft Power BI. Some people call this as a Power BI dashboards. Some people call it as a reports. So basically it's a report, not a dashboard. Before we actually start creating, let me first show you the data. I have a data set. It's very common, very useful. Uh, it's a data related to sales and profit analysis data. We have this data. The name of the sheet is orders. Name of the file is Pawan Lalwani sales report. You can see there are multiple columns in the data set and there are 21 columns approximately. If I select this particular row, you can see the count at the bottom is 21 columns. This data is very good for learning because it's like a movie for me. When you go to watch a movie, you like to see action, romance, thriller, suspense and everything. For me, this data is like a movie because it has everything. It has a date data type. You can see that's a text data type given over here. It also has some geographical data type. If I go on the right hand side, you can see that's a geographical data type. So where we have country, city, state, pin code, postal code, and so on. If I go on the right hand side, I can see there are some columns which are again textual data type, which is again product ID, category, subcategory, and so on. If I go on the right hand side, I have some numerical columns, which are sales, profit, discount, and quantity. So now the dashboard which you're going to prepare or the report which you're going to prepare will be related to sales analysis. I want to analyze the sales data based on uh, the product based on the category based on the subcategory i also want to find out whether which region has done a good sales which state has done a good sales which product it has done a good sales basically i want my boss to understand about the sales data and they can focus on the right particular parameter they can find out which city has done a good sales which segment has done a good sale which customer has given a good sales amount so now to begin with that first i have to close this excel file and i'll say yes save now here is the Power BI. I will upload the data and in less than seven minutes, we'll be creating here a report. So I'll just upload the data in Power BI desktop and we'll create a report in less than seven minutes. So let's begin. So the time starts over here. You can see the timer at the bottom of my screen and seven minutes is the time which I've given to myself. So first thing I'll click on this Excel workbook, pick up the data from my laptop and the name of the file is Pawan Lalwani sales report. Click on open here from that particular file, I'll pick up a sheet named as orders and I can just click on load. Since the data is clean, therefore I can click on load button. Some people from other countries, if they are picking the data, there might be an issue in the date because my laptop is DDMM, your laptop can be MMDD format. So I'll just click on load button. Now once the data is loaded, you can see the timer is running on my screen right now. Once the data is loaded, we have just seven minutes where we can create a report. So all the columns are given, all the data set is uploaded, what, what we have seen there. Now, to begin with, one single shortcut and the entire report can be prepared one by one. The shortcut is Control slash. You can press Control slash from keyboard. A Q&A box opens over here and here we can write whichever chart we want to prepare. Now, the first chart which I want to prepare is Region Sales and I can type here, let's say Donut. Region Sales Donut. Region is a column name. On the right hand side, that's a region column name. Sales is a column name and donut is a type of chart. Here I can just click on submit button and less than 30 seconds, a simple donut chart would be created. And here I can just click on this OK button here. Now, once I finish, I can just pick up drag and drop it here. Same way, control slash from my keyboard. And here I can write, let's say subcategory. Subcategory is a column name. Sales is a column name. And here I can write as funnel chart. I have never prepared a funnel chart in my whole life. So here with the help of this particular Q&A box, I'm creating funnel chart for subcategory sales. Here is a subcategory column at the bottom. Sales is a column. Here. Now I can just click on OK. And now I can just drag and drop it here. So this way I can understand phones is having the highest sales over here. Control slash. I can type here, let's say state. State is a column name. 
sales is a column name and I want to create a map. Click on this button over here and in less than 60 seconds or less than 30 seconds, a map would be created. I can just drag and drop it. Control slash the same shortcut. What's, what is the shortcut which is control slash for my keyboard. So now if you're older version, if you're in the older version of Power BI, you have to just double click. Instead of control slash, we have to just double click on the screen. The next one I can prepare here, let's say segment sales and I can type here, let's say pi. Segment sales pi and I can just click on this OK button. Next is I can just click here, control slash. I can type here, let's say order date, sales and a line chart. Remember, whenever we have uh, the date data type, we should always prepare a line chart and I can click on OK button here. So that's a order date sales line chart. Now the next one I can pick up here, let's say sales, drag and drop. This is a simple card which is prepared. I just need to align it properly. Profit, drag and drop. Quantity or discount, drag and drop. And there's a quantity, I can just drag and drop it. And finally, you can see all the cards are there and everything is prepared over here. Arrangement, alignment takes some time. And now on the top, I should give a title to this particular report. Insert menu bar and I can click on insert text box. Here on the top, I can write as Pavan Lalwani sales analysis report. And now I can just increase the size to the alignment and do some changes. I will bring it on the top. Now, if you observe how much time it has taken for me to create a report, hardly four minutes. Now, if I just click on any one particular slice, you can see the whole report is interactive. I went to my boss and I said, boss, I have prepared a very good report. Give me good marks, give me good increment. But my boss, as usual, doesn't like it. He wants to deduct my salary by giving some negative feedback. And he says, Pavan, the dashboard looks okay. The report looks okay, but it is very black and white. The cosmetics are not good. He understood my weakness and I'm very bad into cosmetics. However, I went to the view menu bar, clicked on this drop down and here from this place, there are multiple themes which are inbuilt. So I can pick up this innovate theme from here and this theme got applied. It's not the best. I cannot say it is the best, but it is better than what I can imagine. Okay, what I can prepare. So it has prepared a report which I can show to my boss. Some more settings I can do and now a report is prepared. Now this report is completely interactive and it gives me the detailed insights about the sales. If I click on this particular place, which is West region, I can tell you how much is the sales, how much is the profit, how much is the discount and the content, which subcategory did well, which date it has performed well, which segment it is doing well. So I can give a detailed analysis to my boss, my manager, my client, okay, about this particular report. Now, this is a simple report in less than five or seven minutes, whatever time it has taken. So, whenever the data updates in my Excel file, the whole report will be prepared. So, I do not have to prepare daily reports every day. I do not have to prepare weekly reports every week. Do not have to prepare monthly reports every month. Just prepare once in a lifetime and the whole report will automatically update. Now, there are many people in the world who do not know about this thing. So, they consider this as a dashboard. It's okay to call as a dashboard unless the person is not technical. If the person is more technical, tell them it's a report. Okay, there's a difference between dashboard and a report. You'll get more understanding when you go through a course or learn about a particular topic. Okay, so this is just a glimpse about how we can create a report in Power BI. So the entire course is on the website, which is pavanlalwani.com. There you can just go through, understand this particular uh, course. It's a uh, 35 hours of course, which you can go in detail. One more, when I come, when I can come back over here, there was one more challenge given by person. Can we create this beautiful report? Definitely, we have seen how to create this kind of charts and area charts on this place but the the cosmetic of this particular reports look very interesting so the challenge was accepted by me so we created this particular beautiful looking background in just two minutes so i'll invest two minutes of your life and we'll prepare this beautiful background not the charts but the background let's begin so just one shortcut and we can prepare the background in less than two minutes the challenge accepted and here we begin so insert menu bar and the most useful tool, which is PowerPoint, I can create and insert a shape. So that's a PowerPoint inserted over here. I can convert this color. I can change the color into dark blue. Select this shape, press control D, D for duplicate, D for duplicate. I can increase the height and width, change the background over here like this. And if you carefully observe, this background is prepared somewhere, not exactly same, but somewhere you can see it's matching. Coming back to the PowerPoint, insert menu bar and I can pick up here shape, rounded rectangle. I can draw this rectangle. 
change the color to white and draw it here. As I promised, in two minutes, we are going to create a background. Control D, D for duplicate, Control D for duplicate, Control D for duplicate. And then we have Control D for duplicate. And then we have Control D for duplicate, Control D for duplicate. One shortcut, no need to be a smart person, no need to be a talented person. Control D, D for duplicate. And obviously, here on the top, I can put a text box and I can bring it here. File menu bar, save as. Okay, if you carefully observe this particular screenshot, we are trying to match the background. No doubt, we have done in a hurry because we are just learning. If you want to make it exactly, we have to spend, let's say, 10, 20, 30 minutes maybe. But this is somewhat we can prepare in PowerPoint in less than two minutes. File menu bar, save as, and I can click on browse. On the desktop, I can save this file as a PNG file, portable network graphics format on the desktop as bg1 bg1 i've just given the name as background one click on see just this one now when i go back to power bi suppose i create a new page over here in this page i will just change the theme now this is a blank page i can go to the format option in the canvas background i can click on browse when i click on browse there's a bg1 and i can just import that nothing is visible do not get uh, scared or hyper. You have to just change the transparency. You have to change the image fit into fit and this report is ready. The background is ready. I can borrow some images from here. 1, 2, 3, 4. Control C. And I can come back here. Control B. Now, I can just try to align them properly so that this looks very much natural. And 1, 2, 3, 4. Selected all the clicks. And here I just change the background. Carefully observe, if you try to show this report to someone, they might think that you have prepared this in Power BI. But technically, uh, the cosmetic part was taken care by the PowerPoint and here it is ready. So remember, no report, no report and no dashboard is so difficult to be prepared. It can be prepared in minutes. Now, coming to the point over here, in the company, if your boss is putting pressure on you, Remember, if you're a boss watching this video, please remember this kind of reports in real time takes at least one to two hours to prepare because there are so many changes. If you're a boss, please have mercy on your people in a company. But if you're a student trying to impress your manager or boss someone, this can be prepared very, very quickly. So everyone, I hope you have understood how to prepare a report in seven minutes, less than seven minutes, how to prepare a background in two minutes. And that's all for this video. <laughs>